Hey, watch fans, Brad from Brent Miller. And from time to time, I get asked, what do you have as a Submariner alternative? So obviously we carry uh, Omega, Tudor, Breitling, Grand Seiko, Seiko, Hamilton, Tag, and Chanel are, are, the, are the brands we carry. Um, you know, if someone comes in looking for something as an alternative or if someone reaches out to me, um, you know, so I'm going to put a video together. Uh, listen, the Submariner is a fantastic watch. I am not trying to say that uh, you shouldn't get one. If that's what you want, by all means, um, you know, go find one and, and get one. But if you're looking for an alternative and for this, I'm going to define that as a black dial, black bezel style watch. Um, I came up with seven that uh, I have in stock today. There's an eighth one I'll mention at the end. I wish I had in stock. I don't. Um, but really just wanted to, to, to give you guys something different today. And so uh, first up, I have the Hamilton Khaki Scuba. This is the newer one with the ceramic bezel, 43 millimeter. Um, I'm going to give you bezel action on all of these. I'm going to try to keep this video relatively short. That glare. They do make the Khaki Scuba uh, in a 40 millimeter. I won't say it's the older version because, well, it is the older version. You can still obtain it. Uh, actually, we might, we might even have one in stock. So 43 is a bit big. Um, they do make a, a, a date model that carries the date. And uh, I believe it's an anodized aluminum bezel on the prior generation, uh, 40 millimeters. So that might be one for you to check out as well. So I'm going to go from uh, lowest price to uh, highest price retail. Uh, so next up, I got a Seiko SPB 143. And we have kind of a matte style dial on this. And this is more of a gray dial, um, but I think it, it still fits that bill. Yep, I went over there a little bit. Sorry about that. I will fix that later. Uh, but leave, man, 40, 40 and a half millimeter case. Next up, the tag aqua racer ceramic bezel on this new edition this is a 43 millimeter model um also make it in a 36 have not seen one of those in stock yet i'd actually like to review one of those uh, so hopefully we get some of those in just to see how that wears compared to this The adjustability, the micro adjustability on this clasp, uh, updated clasp is really nice. Just twin trigger buttons here, push, and it, it slides. So I'm gonna cover it here, but you can slide the bracelet in and out all the way through there. Next up, we have the Tudor Black Bay 58. 39 millimeter case. It's going to be the smallest uh, out of all of these. And in my opinion, the best bezel action. If you like a little bit of a gilt dial with your indices, this is going to be the one for you as well. Following that, we got the Breitling Super Ocean 42. They make this in a 44 as well, if you'd like a larger size. And I believe I've reviewed every one of these individually, um, maybe done wrist shots. I'm not gonna do wrist shots with all of these today. Um, I will give you a loom shot of each one at the end. And, uh, but I'll put links in the description of prior reviews for each one of these individually. So next up, we have the Omega 300M, 42 millimeters, helium escape valve, scalloped bezel, etched wave design on the dial. And last but not least, the only non-stainless steel, we have a titanium. This is the Grand Seiko. Uh, we got the high beat diver. So this is the new one that was released. Uh, reference, oh, I'm trying to think, SBGH. I don't have it in front of me. I think it's the 291. I'll update that in the, uh, 
in the description if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's the SPG H291. And I'll give you a quick bezel action on this one as well. Again, definitely the lightest titanium bracelet, ratcheting, uh, micro. All right, let me hit the lights and I'll uh, give you a quick loom shot of each one of these. So first up was our Hamilton. Followed by our Seiko. Tag Aqua Racer. It's hard to tell right now, but the minute hand is a uh, more of a blue color. Actually, it is more yeah blue as well as the triangle at the top. So hard, it's not coming through real well. Uh, definitely more noticeable uh, in person here. Following that up, we got the Tudor Black Bay 58. And again, that is definitely brighter than what's picking up right now on my on my camera. The Breitling Super Ocean. Again, they are much brighter in person, so I do apologize. I'm not sure, uh, just not picking this up as well as I should. And last but not least, the Grand Seiko. If you're asking me bezel action, I am going to pick the Black Bay 58. If you're asking for loom, I'm taking the Omega 300M. If you're talking movement, that's... Omega or Grand Seiko, but any of these are fantastic. I think they're great alternatives and you could be happy with any of them. So thanks for watching. Sorry I ran a little long on this one. If there's anything else I can do for you, if there's something you want to see, if you want to see a direct comparison to anything, shoot me an email, brad at brentlmiller.com. I'll see you guys in the next video.